All right, today we are going to be taking a look at one of the most useless skills in the game, Violent Retaliation. POB Ninja says there's only three people using it. Reeve, Shield Crush, and Lacerate. They're using variations of either an Impale variation or a Bleed variation. Uh, seems pretty shitty because physical damage doesn't have a very big discrepancy between the minimum and the maximum. You can assist that in a few ways. One of those is with this dagger node, 15% more physical attack damage with daggers. And uh, another one is with the Rothloss's coil. So I decided to combo both of those together to see what kind of benefit I can get from lucky attack damage. Now there's another section of attack damage that becomes lucky, or it's just lightning damage that becomes lucky, but you can't use crits. So I imagine the best benefit with this is to use lightning damage, but then it kind of diminishes the second part where it hits ignore enemy physical damage reduction. So it, it just doesn't seem like a very well designed skill. And I'm kind of surprised they haven't reworked it because it pr looks pretty shitty to me. And let's take a look at some of the numbers. This uh, has blocked recently would be the trigger to turn it to lucky damage. So it goes from 2.8 million when you're not blocking, you're not getting lucky damage, to 3.2. And this is on a boss. I'm obviously a slayer because I didn't want to re-roll to a fucking douchebag. A gladiator that almost nobody runs. And the slayer is a far better ascendancy with much more cohesive skills that make good sense. So I decided to give this a shot. It doesn't work out very well. I can't do this just uh, yet. I was already doing this because I wanted to test out the Reeve build between a Slayer and a Trickster. So far the Trickster is better, but the Slayer is quite a few levels lower. So let's just run a map. Just to demo it. Yeah, that's fine, whatever. can sometimes see the maximum damage hit, which does feel kind of cool. I was thinking Practice maybe it would perfect. work with some kind of weird Ignite My build. Spirit is spent. Uh, but the problem with Ignite is, even with those two rings, you can only get three Ignite stacks. Maybe there's a way to get a fourth. You kind of just want to do one big Ignite. So you'd have to really focus in on getting Ignite's damage to deal damage faster. And I think that'd just be a huge fucking pain to fuck with that kind of ignite shit. Whip it into sand mode, get a little more AOE. I mean, it works. And I guess the test I should do is to see if I can get two 10C jewels that outpower this single skill. That's what I should have done before I started this video, I just went and spent, because I spent 20C total on the Crimson Flame and Crimson Flesh. Crimson? Oh, wait, what do we call that thing? Da, da, da. Forbidden Flame and a Forbidden Flesh. So I spent 20C on that. I should spend 20C on two jewels and see if the jewels outpower it. I'm pretty sure the two jewels you could get would outpower it. And I think that would be a pretty good litmus test for GGG going into the future. Is, uh, are there ascension passives, their big ascension passives, stronger than two jewel sockets? Or do they provide more value in some way? Two jewel sockets. And I don't believe this one does. But I would really like to see someone with a uh, higher currency budget and more time than myself try to wig out some kind of weird lightning damage very high maximum very low minimum using this skill uh, and it, it'd be kind of cool if they use this dagger as well to get 50% more physical and see if wonder if there's a way to convert I'm pretty sure you can make 
lightning damage. Ignite. So you can do like a high lightning damage. Also ignites. And also poisons. And maybe stack damage over time. I can't do this but just yet. I'm not exactly sure what it means in this dagger when it says all damage from hits with this weapon can poison. Does that mean that it only poisons with the physical and chaos damage? Or if you hit with a heavy fire hit, is the fire damage going to poison as if it's physical and chaos? My guess would be that it only poisons with the chaos and the physical. And if I hit fire damage, uh, it's not going to do jack diddly for poison. I could test it out by running over here and selecting this. But I don't have the refunds for that at the moment. But as you can see, it handled that, uh, that map just fine. Do I have a boss map? I don't think I have any boss maps or anything cool. Let's see if I can get uh, a boss out of here. Thought I had. My, there it is. I got one of these. God Slayer. No boss. No boss. Let's run. We'll run a breach. We're detecting instability. It is a little more lazy than the uh, trickster, though, because the trickster's got to worry about those frenzy stacks. I could build a trickster without it. This doesn't have to worry about the frenzy stacks. And with that shield, it's pretty tanky. I'm using this helmet. It's pretty nice. So it, the build definitely works. I just don't think it needs that extra damage piece. Extra sense ascension point. But after playing the trickster for so long, having to constantly worry about your uptime of your frenzy charges, it feels real nice to not have to worry about charges. Especially because so many times you get the mod where they steal your frenzy charges, and if you build too much of your damage focused around the frenzy charges, which my build was, as soon as they steal those frenzy charges, you're just kind of bummed. Oh man, the density in this map is so shit compared to my maps because I run that awesome monster density. I don't even know what you would call that section. Atlas. Grand design. Kind of notice a few of the hits. Just yet. Some of the duds, because of bad devil lucky, and then some of the the big old boys, the thick boy hits. We love a good old thick boy hit. You don't got anything hard in there? No, nothing hard. Let's just run. Arid Lake, sticking it up. try to kill it. More monster life, beyond, temporal chains, maim. Let's turn this on and actually run some of the things. Give it some beast. Try to kill this son of a bitch. I haven't fought any like pinnacle bosses with it yet. I'm pretty sure it'll be pretty smooth on the pinnacle bosses. It has a pretty serious uh, chaos problem chaos resistance problem which I could fix with four nodes and if I ever you know decided to play it a little more and get it leveled past the 91 it's pretty good with those blue attacks from a distance those uh, would kill me quite significantly with my other build Thick. 
I complain a lot about damage from explosive enemies after you kill them. And fucking strong boxes. I'm sure most of you saw Quinn's character die from a fucking strong box. I, I just personally don't feel that that makes a good game and it should be removed. Because I don't think there should ever be a punishment on something that's supposed to be a reward. Kill an enemy, it drops loot, your reward is that loot. Going and getting that loot shouldn't, like, risk your character's life, in my opinion. And strong boxes are all about the loot. I don't think there should ever be a strong box that just fucking dominates. And kills everything. His guard skill was down, but still. His character was beefy as fuck. That's a good example. He deals with his uh, lucky hits. You have been captured, beast. You will be a I can't do this just yet. I mostly talk about that for, for PoE too. I'm sure they've had people talk about it and they probably view that as a way to make the game fun because it makes it difficult. But I think it's a bad difficulty. Jesus, buddy. I still haven't died now. I definitely think it's probably thicker than my trickster because the Slayer's got that 10% reduced damage, which made the Slayer extremely good compared to what it used to be. This way, exile. Ten percent damage reduction is really, really good. Obviously, I'm not fully capitalizing on the second half of that ability of ignoring enemies' physical defenses because I'm mostly doing chaos damage, mostly doing poison damage. I don't care too much about ignoring the physical defense. I was mostly just trying the lucky shit out. I think it'd be pretty easy to buff that skill. No one's using it. Obviously, it needs some kind of tweaking. It does kind of fit in with the gladiator motif. But a, a simple tweak would just, when you block, your da physical damage is lucky, penetrate their thing, and you can give it like a quality of life benefit. Give it an extra 10% movement speed, 10% attack speed, or something like that. Just a simple, simple adjustment. Might be more chill than the trickster. The trickster's much faster. Got way more movement speed and more zoom, but this is kind of chill. Basically, like 75 percent asleep. Put on I can't do this just yet. TV. Watch some movies. Find out some, uh, some loot. Some levels. Pretty close to getting me. That red beast is thick. The first one to look upon this capture with pride, exile. You hunt well. Use an awakened uh, awakened melee physical damage, mostly for the intimidate. Not the. I don't think that'd be the highest damage skill I could use. 
but uh, intimidating enemies is nice. Simply because the reduction in attack speed doesn't bode well with the poison build. If I ever play hardcore, I've played a few times. I, t I try in the gauntlets and I lose every time, as I mentioned. Not good at this game. Very much enjoy it, but I mostly enjoy customizing builds and trying unique shit within the game. Uh, so I'm not a good player at this game, but I think if My I played hardcore, I definitely would not be doing strong boxes. And there's a lot of loot in strong boxes. Actually, a lot of loot for other people. Not a lot of loot for me. But I wouldn't be doing strong boxes. That shit's crazy. Yeah, it's supposed to click a bunch of these. We will be best friends, beast, until we slaughter you. <laughs> that was a great hunt, Exile. Aina will write a mighty poem about it. Oh, I got blood or, or something. Poison. It's gotta be poison. I'm immune to bleed. I hate me. One of the things I like to do with basically all of my builds. I really hate damage over time, so I typically take this damage over time node. Haven't gotten there yet because uh, I don't have enough skill points. Went over here just to get the finish up the block for max block. I could path out of here and get rid get these two skills because I don't need that block anymore, I don't think. Another eight percent. Anyways. That is the end of this video. <laughs>